Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Quentin. Welcome back at Young and Investing right here. Today I want to talk about a cryptocurrency that suddenly popped up out of nowhere in the top 20 on CoinMarketCap.com. And if a new cryptocurrency pops up out of nowhere in the top 20, it must be quite impressive. And that's why I did research into it. So this new cryptocurrency is called Cardano and it has right now a market cap of around, of around 600 million already. That's not bad after one day. And if we have a look to the charts, so it came yesterday to the exchanges, at least one, and it's this Bittrex right here. Um, and since then it went up 10% while all the rest went down. That's also not bad at all. So what is Cardano? And for that, I first going to show you this article right here, which actually tells everything about the technology and about the history of Cardano, which is very interesting. I will put it in the description down below. I will not go over the article entirely. Um, but the most important thing about this article is that we see right here, Charles Hoskinson, and he is the former CEO of Ethereum and I thought it was 2013 2014 something like this he was the CEO of Ethereum and then he left Ethereum and he started this company called IOHK which stands for Input Output Hong Kong so it's a Hong Kong based company that created Cardano blockchain so let's go to the website of Cardano it is right here on the website, first of all, there is not a lot yet. So there is not even like something like a roadmap or something. Um, it's coming soon, as you can see it here. So actually we don't know a lot about Cardano and it has already uh, a market cap of 600 million. It's pretty ridiculous, um, but it is pretty cool. And let's have a look to right here. Um, where is it here? What is Cardano? And it's actually, pretty good explain what it actually is. And it says Cardano is a home to the 8A cryptocurrency, which can be used to send and receive digital funds. That's as we already know, that is the purpose of cryptocurrencies, obviously. Um, it is a technological platform that will be capable of running financial applications currently used every day by individuals, organizations, and governments all around the world. So it is a platform to build decentralized applications on to build new cryptocurrencies on to build all these kinds of stuff on and the big difference with other platforms because there are coming so many platforms right now to the market and the big difference is that it works in layers um, it's built the blockchain is built in some kind of layers which makes it easy to do hard forks and improvements to to the blockchain of Cardano. So they made it themselves very easy to improve their own uh, blockchain by building these layers. And apparently it is also very secure to have these layers. What I also want to show you here is that this is not your ordinary smart contract platform for cryptocurrencies and decentralized applications. No, it is built from a scientific philosophy. And it is built by a global team of leading academics and engineers. And this is quite crazy actually, because they said like, yeah, the technology is secure, flexible and scalable for use by many millions of users. This reminds me actually to, to EOS. So EOS is also, it's right now, it's still under development, but I'll show you for those who don't know it. Um, it is right here. That's actually a pretty much doing the same thing. It reminds me very, mu very much at EOS. They also want to build a technology that is secure, flexible and scalable for the use of millions of users. So what did the Cordano team do? First of all, they spent years from 2015 to till now, they spent two years building this blockchain and then decided to build all the rest like their roadmap etc because it was not even finished so they focused with all these academics and engineers wanting to build the best blockchain technology we don't know yet if it's really this scalable flexible secure uh, they first need to prove themselves i think 
but the market is already giving them some credits and giving them at least the a lot of trust let's say so um what i also want to say is why we didn't hear about cardano yet this is also quite interesting we didn't hear about cardano because they didn't do their their um ico or their coin distribution they didn't do it in the us they didn't do it in europe they didn't do it in russia but they focused and only focused on asia so in asia people do know cardano already they i think it was 97 percent so it's almost everything uh, got distributed over Japanese investors and a little bit South Korean and a little bit Chinese investors got involved in this project. So that's why we didn't hear about it. They didn't do their ICO here and they didn't, nobody knew about it actually. Um, even though these people, most of these people are um, American citizens. And they didn't want to do it in America because they wouldn't be allowed to buy the SEC, Securities and Exchange Commission. They wouldn't allow them to, to do their ICO in U the US. And that's why they decided to do it in Asia. And that's also why we didn't hear about it until now. So let's have a look further. This is the company behind the Cardano blockchain. And as I call, as I said already, it's Input Output Hong Kong. It's a Hong Kong based company with all these people working on this Cardano uh, project. And look at this team. This is just crazy. I mean, a few months ago, if we had a look to, to teams of cryptocurrencies, there were just teams four, five, maybe sometimes only three. I mean, that's, that was a cryptocurrency team, but right now, cryptocurrency team are, teams are just so developing. I mean, there are now already 20 people in, a, in a, working on a cryptocurrency. These, the industry is getting more professional and professional, and this is a very good example for this. Look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 18, 20 people working on the technology. And this is not all. The best thing is they have their wallet called Didalus uh, right here, as you can see. And this has a, a separate team from the people doing the technology. So this wallet is created by a team of another eight people. I mean, that is crazy. Eight people working on a wallet and 20 people working on cryptocurrency on, on, the, on the technology. So that is actually Cardano. Basically, it is a platform for smart contracts and uh, they want to be as scalable, as secure, and as flexible as possible. And one last thing I forgot to say is that Cardano works with, you have with two programming languages. In Ethereum, for example, you have this, this programming language that only Ethereum, um, Ethereum developers know. And if you want to work with Ethereum, you need to learn this new programming language. Then you also have some uh, in other um, smart contract platforms where you need to, you can develop your decentralized apps. They most of the time also have um, programming languages such as Java, C++, etc. But Cardano has two things, or you have a, a very um, difficult a programming language like ethereum an owned programming language which is pretty difficult to make it x to make your decentralized application as secure as possible that's why they make a difficult own programming language but they also offer um easy tools to make easy decentralized applications um so actually it's for everyone for very easy uh, basic applications um and for difficult ones uh, that needs to be as secure as possible. So they offer everything. And that's also um, something they have one step ahead of on the, on, the, on the competition. So that is Cardano, guys. It is pretty cool. Um, I will look further into it once everything is released, such as the white paper. But for now, that's actually all we know about Cardano. Uh, it looks very promising, especially 
the market cap looks insane i don't know what they do to deserve this 16 rank and a coin mark and a market cap of, of already 600 million i don't know what they actually do did to to deserve this but anyway it shows that a lot of people have trust in it um for sure on that ev because everyone everyone is still buying it because even if it's already this high in price but guys that's it that is cardano i hope you learned something if you want me to review another cryptocurrency or ico or whatever then put it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching bye bye